I'm reading uh, to my kids The Traveler's Gift by Andy Andrews, and it's such an awesome book. Um, Life-changing. This is actually the original book that Kobe and I had. Um, I don't know, we started reading it ten years ago. We started a study group, and, uh, you know, we wrote and highlighted and, and talked about how it's personally significant to us, and this book has been pretty powerful, and I'm reading it to my kids now. And I wanted to share with you part that I'm reading today. Um, in general, David Ponder is a man who reaches the end. Um, he was a big wig in some company, and it was starting to go under, and he decided to stay and try to save his company. And in one swoop, he lost his job, he lost his car, the company car, he lost everything. Um, his house payments started to become overdue. His daughter got sick, didn't have any money, got a job working um, at like a um, hardware store. Um, the second car broke down. Daughter's sick, doesn't have money to pay for the doctor um, or the, the surgery. I think she needs like tonsillitis or some surgery. Um, and then he uses his wife calls on the phone to say we need she needs Jenny. The daughter needs help, and he talks for a minute, and his boss fires him, and he's on the way home on an icy bridge. Um, actually he's driving in the, weird, in the middle of nowhere, he doesn't know what the hell to do with himself. He doesn't know how to come home and tell his wife, you know, we're about to lose the house, I don't have money to, for treatment for our daughter and I've lost my job. So he, uh, he says, I think I'll kill myself and then with the life insurance at least my family will have options that they don't have now. And he dies or dreams or whatever and he meets seven people and really really powerful I don't want to give away who he meets um, so I won't even tell you who's meeting in this chapter so you'll read it but I'll read to you parts of it and he said um, at the moment I'm just hoping there is a future I'm actually going through the worst time in my life right now congratulations are in order then better days are most assuredly ahead um, <clears throat> raised his water glass and exclaimed to us two men experiencing the worst life has to offer David didn't respond. He wasn't sure whether <clears throat> he was teasing him or not. I'm not kidding, he said slowly. Oh, let me promise you, he said with a tight smile. Neither am I. And um, he shared with him the, the man he meets here. I don't want to really reveal any of them, but he meets really amazing characters in history that teach beautiful um, habits and skills to be the best you can be in life and um, this man says I wear this as a memory of my child who died a few months ago and now my second child is ill and um, I don't deadly ill and I'm um, going through the worst time in my life <clears throat> and then the man teaches tells him he says in a small selfish way I must confess uh, my propensity towards self-serving behavior, that I you know, feel sorry for myself, he says, but um, in a larger sense, however, we are being presented an enormous opportunity for change and the betterment of ourselves. The betterment of ourselves? <clears throat> and um, the conversation goes on, and he talks about how much power we have um, when we realize that, that we're, that any awful place we are in our lives is just an opportunity for us to to get better and he says as children we were afraid of the dark now as adults we're afraid of the light we're afraid to step out we're afraid to become more but how can we lead others to a destination we have not reached keep searching son i'm urging you to seek the light that to you seems so far in the distance it will be worth the journey you will become a lighthouse of personal growth and power and by your example and leadership, you will prevent many a worthy man from crashing his life upon the rocks of mediocrity. And um, it's, it's just really powerful. I'll skip ahead a few, uh, a, few, uh, a few pages to read you the next part that I really thought is amazing. And then next, this teacher... Oh, my kids are talking in their sleep. You know what? I won't. I won't give it away. Maybe I'll make more videos of the series. But just the one message that I that I want to share with you from this one section um, 
is the idea that when we are at an awful point in our lives, that's awesome because it's a chance for us to make a change. It's a chance for things can only get better. It's a chance for us to find our true, our true strengths. It's a chance for us to fight and say, I'm gonna reach the light, damn it, I'm gonna reach the light. And I wrote about it recently in uh, Gabby Clough, the idea of, you know, hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song.